Does your vehicle not stop as quickly as it used to? Are you hearing noise while driving or braking? Do you feel vibration in the pedal or steering wheel when you slow down? Does your car pull to one side when driving and even more when braking? These are all signs that you may be having problems with your brake system. This system consists of many components that need to be inspected to ensure optimal braking performance and vehicle safety. In this video, we'll look at the components of the drum brake system and how to diagnose issues you may find. Since we'll be working under the car, it's important to observe basic safety precautions. Wear a dust mask and eye protection to protect yourself from brake dust. Do not use compressed air to clean brake parts. Always use a spray brake cleaner to keep brake dust from becoming airborne. Park the vehicle on a flat, dry surface, chalk the wheels, and make sure the parking brake is not engaged. Place automatic transmissions in park and manual transmissions in neutral. When jacking the vehicle, ensure the jack is rated for the weight of the vehicle being lifted and use factory lift points, which can be found in your owner's manual. Once the vehicle is lifted, support the vehicle on jack stands and not the jack. We'll begin examining the system inside the vehicle by checking the brake pedal and dashboard lights. Start the vehicle and press the brake pedal. If the pedal seems mushy, it might be due to having a brake fluid leak or it could be that the brake fluid needs to be changed as it's absorbed too much moisture over time. An illuminated brake light, ABS light, or check engine light can also alert you to problems with the brake system. Now let's cut off the engine and pop the hood to visually inspect the master cylinder for signs of leaking fluid. Low fluid in the reservoir often indicates a leak in the system. If it's not full, add fluid. Consult your owner's manual to determine the correct type of brake fluid to add. Look at the fluid condition in the reservoir. If it's cloudy or dark, it needs replacing. Many vehicle manufacturers recommend changing brake fluid every 24 months or 24,000 miles as brake fluid will absorb water over time, which can greatly reduce braking performance. Next, we'll check the primary components of a disc brake system. When the brake pedal is pressed, Fluid is forced through the brake lines to the brake caliper, which pushes the caliper piston that causes the brake pads to engage with the brake rotor. If any of the components in the disc brake system isn't working properly, braking performance can be reduced. Let's start by examining the brake pads. Brake pads consist of a steel backing plate with friction material bound to its surface. Some pads have a thin piece of soft metal attached, which will scrape across the surface of the brake rotor when the pads get worn down, causing a chirp or squeal that indicates that it's time to do a brake job. Visual inspection is the easiest way to diagnose the condition of the disc brake system, and the brake pads can point you in the right direction of components of the system that aren't working properly. Look for tapered wear, where the lining is worn too thin on one edge of the pad and thick on the other. This is a sign that the caliper pins are worn. Also, look for a step in the lining that indicates that the pads are not installed correctly and aren't making full contact with the rotor. If you notice there is a cracked surface or one pad is worn more than the other, this indicates that the caliper, the guide pins, or other hardware is sticking. Next, take a look at the brake caliper and all the brake hardware, which can be another source of brake noise and brake system failures. Inspect the caliper for signs of leaking brake fluid and check all bores, pins, bolts, seals, and sleeves for wear and corrosion. Take time to inspect all hoses for cracking, chafing, swelling, or leaking. Also check all steel lines for leaks, kinks, corrosion, or damage. Okay, now let's look at the rotors. If you've been feeling pulsation when you press your brake pedal, then your rotors may be warped. Squealing, grinding, vibration, and longer stopping distance are other symptoms of damaged rotors. So, inspect your rotors for grooves in the surface, excessive or uneven wear, heat cracks, warpage, or a surface that's too thin. Defective calipers, overstressed or worn out hardware, improperly positioned pads, or just putting off pad replacement are some of the culprits for bad rotors. A brake system is complex, but still simple enough for you to troubleshoot most problems and fix them yourself. For more information on how to service your brakes, see our video, How to Replace Disc Brakes. 
or stop by your local AutoZone for everything you need to do the job right, including expert advice because parts are just part of what we do. Thanks for watching.